getting good audio is a constant quest and I've always been really happy with the uh, equipment I've purchased from an Australian company Rode Microphones. Today we're going to talk about audio specifically the video micro microphone so we'll get into that right after this. Hi, this is Bill Booz. This is Photography and Technology Tools. And the topic today is the Rode Video Micro Microphone. I've often said that the uh, quality of your audio is as important, if not more important, than the quality of the video that you record. It only takes one or two recordings with your, the microphone that's on your, com your camera uh, to convince you of this. For example, in the intro, I was using the exact same mic that I'm using now, but the audio is quite different, don't you think? In the intro, the mic was on the top of the camera, and it was the video micro. Um, now, it's right up here, just out of the frame. You can't see it, but it's very close to my mouth. Before, I was six feet away. Now, I'm like maybe six to ten inches away from the microphone. And... It makes a big difference in the quality of the microphone, but also in what it picks up. So if it's further away, it's picking up more of the, the ambient uh, reverberation within the room when uh, your voice has to carry that far. Um, so we're going to take a look at an, a, an example of two different microphones in the same, used in the same way and the different quality that you get from that. We'll do that in a second. Um, the Rode, the Rode Video mic was um, the first quality mic I bought several years ago. The Video mic, not the Video Micro. The Video mic, is a, you know, as you can see in the picture, it's bigger uh, and physically bigger. It's run by a battery, and so you have to remember to turn it on. And it has a big muffler on uh, over the mic itself. You can take that off, but that is it's kind of a, uh, helps with wind and so on. Uh, the video micro, on the other hand, is quite smaller. Uh, and when I went to mirrorless cameras, when I changed from Canon 60D to uh, the EM1, uh, the Olympus EM1, I wanted to get a smaller mi uh, microphone that didn't kind of take over the camera. Now, that, that, there's nothing wrong with the video mic. It works fine. But again, I w uh, in the example at the beginning of this, ser the, of this episode, um, I had it six feet away from me and so it, it doesn't you don't get the best quality but it is a useful mic if you are videoing several people um, and if you're in a room that's going to be a little bit uh, friendlier to uh, the voice carrying across a space of six feet so the, the video micro as I said is much smaller it's it's uh, it's only three inches long and it only weighs a, 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 an ounce and a half and so it's really very, very portable and uh, doesn't take up much space, obviously, when you're packing it up. And that's important, too, for another way that I'm using that mic that I'll talk about a little bit later in this uh, episode. Um, I, you know, I've been using the mic a lot of different ways, uh, a lot with my iPhone and a lot with my EM1 and my EM5. Uh, and I'm going to jump around to a couple different clips I did to show you just how I'm using that mic. This is a test uh, to compare the audio that uh, I'm getting from using uh, you know, on my EM1, the video uh, mic, which I bought years ago, uh, and the video micro. Uh, as you can see in the videos, they are um, different in size. All right, this is a test uh, to compare the audio that uh, I'm getting from using, uh, you know, on my EM1, the video uh, mic, which I bought years ago, uh, and the video micro, which has a dead cat on it, a wind windscreen right now. Uh, as you can see in the videos, they are um, different in size.
So one of the ways that I see using this uh, video micro the most is with my iPhone. Uh, and that and, and hanging it from a hook in the, in the uh, uh, studio here, I'll plug it into one end of a long line and the other end into my camera. It's not like the other demonstration video where I was like five to six, I was really about six feet away from the uh, camera and the microphone was attached to the top of the camera. And the audio from that, I wouldn't like, I don't like that. Uh, it's a little bit too echoey, and it's uh, because you're not, you know, the idea is to get the microphone as close to the voice that's being recorded as possible. Um, and so by putting it on a, an extension uh, wire, I can get it very close just over my head. That's one way I use it a lot when I'm doing recordings of my episodes for learning photography and uh, photography and technology tools. Um, but uh, together with my iPhone, so here's one scenario. I've got this Movo um, holder, which I got to replace my shoulder pod S1, primarily because I can, it has a, a place to put the microphone. Uh, so I can loosen this up, take it off, and so that's how it attaches. Um, and that's, that's nice. And it also has a quarter 20 here and a quarter 20 at the bottom. So I'm able to extend this PVC or uh, extend it by adding this PVC pipe. Um, so, and then there's also another quarter 20 here on the Movo so that I can, I can attach a light, I can put a bar here and attach a light to the side if I needed it. Um, so there are a lot of different where I could put the mic here and put a light up here. But this, you know, if I were doing kind of selfie mode and wanted, um, record a session, I can do this very easily. So that's one scenario of using the Movo with, in my case, the iPhone attached with the microphone right on top. And that, that works out great. Another scenario with the uh, uh, video micro attached to the Movo and the iPhone and then attached to the iPhone, uh, I've got this little device called a handle pod that lets me, lets me put my camera or iPhone on a stand practically anywhere. I can put it around poles. Uh, right now, as you can see, I've got it on a stool in front of me, so I could be anywhere. I'd be in a cafe, I could be out in the park, and I could put this, uh, attach it to a, a park bench or just put it down on a table and do a, uh, a session if I were, you know, uh, wanting to do that. I could also use this handle pod as kind of a carry around device, just like a, uh, using one of the Joby Gorilla Pods. And so it becomes a very versatile tool that lets me use the video micro to get good sound uh, and to use the uh, iPhone in a selfie mode to do, a, you know, just uh, a talk about something or turn it around and use the front facing camera uh, and the uh, microphone facing the other way and interviewing someone or just talking to someone. Uh, so it's, it's very handy to be able to use that. And it's, and it's so small and light, it's, it's really nice. Now there are others that are lighter and smaller than this, but this is very versatile for me and that's one of the reasons I like the video micro. So here's the, the handle pod and you could, you could bend this thing in every imaginable way, but I can, uh, so I could do a selfie right here and uh, a selfie interview or discussion, uh, or I could be at an event and filming it with uh, the handle pod this way. This is not uh, perhaps as comfortable as using just the extension on the Movo, uh, and I don't need all this extra, but the, if you just want to take one thing with you, this uh, handle pod is really uh, a great device. And I'm gonna do a separate video just on it. Uh, so this is how this looks with Filmic Pro running and the microphone connected. Now again, I'm using, since I have an iPhone 7, I have to use this adapter and this is a Rode uh, TRS to TRRS uh, cable. So it will work with uh, the input on on, this, on the all iPhones, all I, iOS devices and some other smartphones. Another way I use the video micro mic is attached to an L bracket, to which I've also attached the uh, Movo with the iPhone, then a GorillaPod is supporting it all. And yet another way is through my, using it with my uh, Task MDR40 audio recorder attached to a long cable strung over to the video micro, which is close to me. So, a little quick tour of uh, the studio and the different ways that I use the video micro, the Rode video micro. Uh, it's a great little mic 
And as I'm putting together a kind of a small bag of those things that I want, if I'm out and about and want to be able to start to do re to record, do some recordings to make a video story, uh, then it's a perfect mic to take with me because I know I'm going to get good sound. Uh, I've got my lab, my, my Smart Lab Plus, which is also made by Rode, uh, and I can use that with my iPhone or with my little um, uh, Olympus digital recorder. So I'm I'm pretty set, and they're all very small, small uh, footprint, so they don't take up much room, and so I. I can't recommend this mic enough uh, for someone who's getting started because it's not terribly expensive and it comes with its own windscreen with a dead cat and that helps an awful lot when you're recording out in uh, the outdoors when there's, it's a bit, there's, there's a bit of wind. So again, thank you very much for checking in on uh, this episode. And as always, if you found, got anything useful out of it, I encourage you to give me a like. Uh, and of course, subscribe to the series, subscribe to my channel, and uh, you will see uh, updates to this series as well as my other series. Goodbye.